Yes, boys and girls, Red Lack here, back with another video. Now, you know me on this channel, boys, if you subscribed, if you've been here before, I do like my custom tactics videos, um, and they do usually do well. So we're back with another one. As you can see on the screen, we are first in the world. That's right, first in the world. Um, I did play with Brad Colston, um, a friend of mine, to get to number one in the world. We played in co-op um, with his team and his tactics, which is what I'm going to show you today, his tactics. Um... But yeah, we both use them, they're really good. A lot of pros use the 4 and 2 and 2 narrow variation, so the second variation. But yeah, as you can see here, number one in the world, um, and here number one also. Um, we're just gonna just get straight into it, don't beat around the bush. We are selling our fodder, boys. We invested to try and make a bit of money. Not gone too well, but we'll have our team back soon. This is sort of like a cheaper version. But I do understand that you guys at home, um, you might not be able to afford this team, you might think it's really good. It is a decent team, uh, just a few players that aren't up to scratch. Now let's just jump straight into it. Um, so we have balanced, 35 whip. Now obviously it's a narrow formation when you're defending, you want to be compact at the back, um, obviously. And then no gaps in the middle. Um, depth, 60. You don't want to sit too deep because when you're in the narrow, it's like... It's quite a good setup. It's quite a good like to defend in. You have players everywhere, um, but not too high because then they can get in behind. Um, but with this formation, it's really good in like transition, in my opinion. Um, the way people track back and like cut passing lanes, I think it's perfect. So yeah, 60 depth for that one. Fast build up. This tactic pushes players forward for a faster build up. But if you lose possession of the ball, you can find yourself into a counter attack. Now with this, basically players just make better runs. Um, you know, you'll find the players quicker. You don't have to like wait for the players to go up the pitch. You sort of can play quick attacking football um, if that's the way you play, like myself. Chance creation. Once team enters the attacking zone with possession, players will create chances by making runs for passing space behind the opposing back line. Yeah, so this is perfect, boys, for like maybe an LBY to Mbappe, a through ball, trying to break the defensive line. But a lot of people use forward runs. Forward runs is a not as good version. As direct passing all the pros use direct passing so make sure to stick that one on boys that's a big one 30 whip um like i said before don't want to be too wide um on the attack you have the three main players striker striker cam um as you can see here so all three of them are sort of linking up you, you want like your right foot on the right left foot on the left um and the cam usually about five star skill moves five star weak foot so you can create more chances and um you know abuse more space seven players in the box um this one's because you know when you're on the attack like i said before you want your players going up the, up the pitch quick um so you have more options and you know it's more free flowing you can just play quick football no waiting around corners one as you've seen before on this channel um we do do the corner technique which is where you pass it to the edge of the box and you cross it to the back post it's so effective broken arguably um well no it's definitely broken but yeah, make sure you have corners on one and then you can either pass it straight to the edge or you can call a guy short, give it to him, then the guy at the edge and then go back post. Um, free kicks too. Free kicks is preference. Um, it depends what you do really. If you want to take it short, a lower one's probably better. If you want to whip it in, maybe two or three. Um, but yeah, boys, that's the actual tactics. Let's look at the instructions. So we've got getting behind, getting behind, come back on defence on the right striker. So one of them is more defensive, the other one, you know, just sort of being a bit more lazy. I think this is perfect because the team defending a 4-4-2, so the right centre mid will go to right mid and the left and the cam will go to left mid. So like you want the personnel in cam and right centre mid not to be a centre mid type like a, a tackler, like Fafana. You want more like a winger, like a small player, Messi, Neres, the outer. Something like that. Um, so yeah, that's what you want there. Here, you just want quick players, agile players, as per usual. Left centre mid, you want like a set. You want a centre mid who's going to be wide and in the middle, more like a playmaker, like Draxler, as you can see. And then CDM, obviously for Farner, stay back while attacking for the centre. You want like a tackler here, um, a Kante type Vieira sort of thing. But yeah, straight while attacking cover wing for the left centre mid. Balance for calm balance for right centre mid. Left back and right back just stay back while attacking, simple. 
you'd think you'd want them on balance so they push up the pitch, but they gradually like go up the pitch anyway. Um, but yeah, last year you'd, I had them on balance because I thought they helped on the attack. You know, they got involved, they had extra balls out wide, overloading. But this year, I think they're just better to just stay back. But the personnel again, you want like a someone a bit agile, not like a, an Mbappé at right back, sort of like an Atal, a Hakimi sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Back to the formation, we'll talk about personnel. Centre-backs, I like the traditional centre-backs, not like the small, quick ones, like Cordoba, I don't, don't like Cordoba. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Rolls, you can do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, boys, that's, that's it. So this is the team that I was using in 1v1, but this isn't the team that we used in the 2v2 to gain number one. We used a team of Eusebio, Inform Neymar, Inform Mbappe, etc. Um, even Draxler, Draxler's really good. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of money there. Let's go back to the rivals leaderboard. So yeah, as you can see, boys, number one in the world. Last season, season, um, I got two, two, six, eight SR, and that was enough to get me in the qualifier. So I just left it at that and then tried to invest my money. Didn't work. Um, I am going to be buying R9 in the next day. But yeah, as you can see, boys, number one and number two for me and Brad. Um, but yeah, we played we played three and four yesterday when they was one and two and we beat them comfortably. So yeah, very very good. We um, it was inevitable we were going to get one and two in our, in my opinion because we were just beating everyone. We played really good. Um, but yeah, boys, that's the end of the video. Um, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and follow my socials: Twitter AC underscore Red Like, Instagram Alfie Colder, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. But look, number one. Number two, rival season, easy as that. Use the custom tactics. Let me know in the comments if they make you better. Obviously, this gets rank one in weekend league, etc., etc. As this is the rivals leaderboard for the whole world. So, yeah, give me some support, boys. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good one. Peace.